I'm making a pencil skirt the first thing I'm going to do is to mark the length the length is 18 then after that I'm going to take uh, the width of this paper to be a hip divided by 2 plus 1 inch and in our own case I have 20 20 then I'll mark it here then connect the line so after that i'm going to take the hip length the hip length is going to be eight and a half if i plus size you can make it nine nine is okay it is constant then after that i'm going to take our waist measurements which is seven and half our waist measurement divided by four is seven point two five sorry plus one plus one inch for that then moving to the hip our hip measurement is nine and a half which is 38 38 divided by four i have nine and a half plus one one inch the one hitch we added to the width of the paper so i'm adding this at the front here so whatever i have here i'll bring it down to the hem this way and mark it right now we are working on the front this is the front so i'll connect it i'm going to shape the hem so shaping the hem i'll make a hip measurements minus five the value i get i'll divide it into four whatever i get that's what i'm placing here then I'll connect it this way. That is done. After that, I'm going to take a boss pan here. A boss pan is three and a half. You can make use of your own. Then the dart we had there is one inch, so I will share it into two 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then the dart length. Okay, let me. I'm taking the boss pan again here to make a straight line. The dart length is going to be six. It's not going to get to the hip, so I'll connect the dart this way. Once that is done, I'll go up here at the waist by zero point five. Then come down at the center front by 0 0.75, that is half and quarter. Then connect. I'll go ahead and connect it this way with my curved ruler. You can use the street ruler as well, it doesn't matter. Then I'll connect this one like this. Now that we are done with the front, let's move to the back. The next thing you are going to do is to take the measurements you have on the waistline, that is your waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch for that. Right here I have 8 and quarter. Whatever the value I have there, I will place it at the back. Go ahead and place it at the back this way. Then connect to the hip line. After that, you are going to tighten up the hem. So, the next thing you are going to do is to measure whatever you have at the hem here. You place it at the back hem as well. Right here, I have eight and quarter. Then, you connect it this way. Then, at the side, you raise it up by 0 0.5 this 0 0.5 is constant after that you go ahead and connect it this way once you are done with that you are going to place the bust bust pan measurements here as well which is 3.5 in this case you can use your own then share the dart into two which is 0 0.5 0 0.5 on both sides then measure the dart length to connect the dart. 
the dartlet still remains six. So connect it this way. So once you are done with that, it is very important for you to contour the back. You can't leave your back, the back this way. You have to contour the waist and the hem. So for you to do that, you are going to take 0.75 at the waist and at the hem, you will take 0.75 as well. Then connect it to the hip line. With this, you will give your back, your bum, it will give your bum a room. So it will enhance the bum. Anyway, it will enhance the bum and give it a good shape. Right now, I want to show you how to extend the length of this skirt. Basically, all you just have to do is to extend, extend the lines. Extend the lines at the sides, at the center front. Just bring all the lines. Just bring it down. Just bring it down. That's all you have to do. Whether it is a long skirt, a mid-length skirt, short skirts once it is beyond your half length just extend it this way then cut it out and place on your fabric that's all you just have to do this is it so i'll just go ahead and cut it now please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share and leave the comments in the comment section bye